recently, uh, Hannah said to me, Gramps, um, email is kind of old school. You, you know, you've got to get over it. And I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a second. What do you mean email is you know, like old school? And uh, she said, you know, uh, if, if you need me, uh, just, just text me and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Um, but really what I enjoy most, Gramps, is face-to-face. -face. And I think sometimes we think that this next future generation is so tech-savvy and so disconnected from one another because they're texting or they're on Facebook and doing all of these things together. I actually see just the opposite. I see them incredibly comfortable with interacting with one another. Technology just happens to be one of the tools. But the beauty of it is, it's forcing them to be much closer together as people, much more synergistic with one another, and much more desirous to be in places where they can actually have face-to-face -face contact and interact with one another. I don't see that next generation wanting to hide out someplace. I see them looking for places to collaborate and gather together. I mean, that's, to me, that's the, the exciting part. And yes, when you're there, you don't, you know, it, it's, it's inconceivable for them to think about emailing the person who's two workstations away from them. Why aren't they just sitting across from me and I can just talk to them on a direct basis? So that culture is evolving and the behavior ultimately is going to change the way they work and interact with one another. And I think the issues around not only technology but sustainability and the emerging uh, much more interactive collaborative uh, culture that we're creating Look, look at the transparency on a global basis that's happening right now. You, you, you take a look at what technology has done to bring a broader discourse around the world, around the needs of humanity. It's just absolutely unprecedented. So that transparency, the need to interact and grow with one another, the desire to make a difference in other people's lives, when you start adding up all of those bricks, uh, uh, sustainability. I mean, m m my grandchildren won't drink bottled water, not because they don't want the water, but because they know that plastic bottle's getting thrown away someplace and it never goes away, right? So sustainability isn't any longer, you know, a, a hope to have. It's a, it's a reality that in, in everything we do now, if we're not trying to get the most innovative materials, the most sustainable processes we possibly can, it doesn't matter what we're doing, it's not going to work. Nobody's going to want to buy those products, no one's going to want to use them. So you have to constantly watch how this, the, all of these global changes are migrating us all towards, again, the need to continue to innovate and add and bring more value into the marketplace.